Hi guys, welcome back to another new video. In this video, we'll be building a smart spice box that helps you cook faster. It is very useful for people like me who barely know how to do anything in the kitchen. So it's gonna be a pretty fun project. Let's dive right into the build. So we start by creating a polygon which has to be of six sides. It can be any circumscribed or inscribed polygon, it does not matter. The size of each side should be 100 millimeters. Then we extrude it to 70 millimeter to make the 3D model, which we then shell with the inside thickness of 16 millimeter. Then we choose that upper face and thin extrude it to make the place for the LED lights to be kept in. We can choose any face and then we make a rectangle on top of it with one side measuring 10 millimeters and extrude it out so that the wires can pass from the spice box to the control panel. Then we choose the base and sketch lines on it. These lines are connected to the opposite ends of the polygon. This divides the base of the polygon into six parts. Then we extrude each of these lines to a height of 62 millimeters to make proper divisions for the spices. Then we select the face from which we remove the 10 millimeter extrusion and make holes in it for the screws since this is the plane through which we will connect our control panel. We use the sketching and pattern feature to do so. Now we extrude the sketch to make space for the screws to go in. We choose any of the ZX or ZY planes to sketch a rectangle with dimensions 80 by 100 which we then extrude to a distance of 60 millimeters. Then we sketch the same rectangle that we did in the spice box so that the wires can travel from the spice box to the control panel easily. We then extrude this rectangle out. We extrude the upper edges to a distance of 2 millimeters so that the back of the control panel is constant. On the front face, we start designing four squares in four corners. These squares are then extruded in to make space for screws that will join the control panel with its lid. On these squares, we start sketching holes for the screws. We use the pattern feature to do so. Now we extrude these sketches in to make space for the screws. We choose the inner faces of the extrusions on the base to make a consistent base for the Arduino to be kept on this Arduino which we will then insert into our sketch. We use the align feature to align the Arduino to our control panel. The side face from where the protrusions of the Arduino are coming from is selected and we sketch squares on top of it leaving some extra space for printer's tolerance and then we extrude those out to make space for the protrusions to go through.
we start making holes for the buttons to go through. These holes are extruded in and then are chamfered to a distance of 1 mm so that it's easy for the buttons to snap fit to the control panel. Then we choose the back face and design the same holes that we did in the spice box to ensure that the screws can easily pass from the control panel to the spice box and link those two together. We extrude those in as well. With this, our control panel is ready. However, we want to make a lid for this control panel. We do so by extruding the front face to a distance of 2 mm. Then we connect the inner sides of the control panel lid. And with this, the lid is also ready. We sketch a polygon with side 80 mm. Then we construct a plane 10 mm above it and construct another polygon with side 25 mm on top of it. Then we use the loft feature to connect the two polygons that we've constructed. Then we select the top polygon as the face and create two circles on it. We need to make an arc but not on this face. So we finish the sketch and start another sketch on a perpendicular plane. Then we make an arc using the two points. We use the sweep feature where the circle is the profile and the arc is the path and make the handle for the lid. Sketch a hexagon of side 100 mm, then thin extrude it to a height of 2 mm and thickness of 16 mm. Then sketch a rectangle with dimensions 50 mm by 1 mm. Ensure that the rectangle is at a distance of 2 mm from the outer edge. To ensure that the rectangle is centrally located on one of the sides, make a point on one of the corners and then ensure that the distance between the rectangle and that point is 25 mm. Now that you're done with this, extrude this rectangle to a height of 3 mm and then chamfer all four of the edges to 0.3 mm. With the protrusion ready, we choose the pattern on path and this feature as the object type. The path is our hexagon. With this, our snap fit lid is also ready. For the assembly, you will insert all the models that we've created until now into one file. You will then choose the common features that there are in the two models you want to align with each other and align those using the modify feature in the toolbar. Once you follow these simple steps, you will have assembled your spice box. Congratulations. I then uploaded my STL files to IAM Rapid and got an instant quote. I always trust IAM Rapid for all of my 3D printing needs as they are very quick and have a very less price compared to a lot of other brands out there. Plus, they have an amazing clientele and a huge range of services like 3D printing, CNC machining and much more that you can go ahead to. The link to their website is in the description below. I received the printed part from IAM Rapid within two days. 
and they had an amazing quality. With this, the Smart Spice box that can help you make delicious homemade food is ready. Whether you're a beginner or a novice or an experienced cook, this is the thing for you. Thank you for watching our video. Hope to see you soon.